Hey there everyone, my name is Brendan from Crypto 101 and today I'm going to be walking you through how to chart on the Coinbase exchange. Now the odds are you've probably heard of Coinbase, in fact many of you have probably traded it on Coinbase, but did you know that you can actually do all of your charting on Coinbase as well? Well if you didn't, this is going to be the video for you. In fact, even if you did, I think I'm going to be able to show you a few good tips and tricks moving forward. So once you log into your base Coinbase account, it'll look something like this. Now, I have mine on dark mode, so it's going to look a little bit darker. But even if it's in the light mode, the process is still going to be the same. So first things first, you actually need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen over here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my camera so that everyone can see what I'm doing. But if you go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and then you'll find this button that says the advanced option. Now, once you do this, you're going to click on the advanced button down here and it's going to bring you to a new interface. Now, there's going to be a lot more going on. There's going to be a lot more flashing. But from here, you'll notice that there's a big old chart in the middle of your screen. In fact, this chart is uh, reflectant upon which cryptocurrency pairing you're looking at. So if we want to chart Bitcoin, we can do that. In fact, if we want to chart many mainstream altcoins, we can do that on here as well. Because what this is, is this is actually a trading view integration. In fact, many of you have probably used trading view in the past, but trading view is one of the lead charting solutions uh, when it comes to the crypto markets. So what this is, is essentially just copying and pasting trading view into a usable format for anyone that has a Coinbase account. Now, I want to walk you through how you can change this over here. So let's just say that we want to go from Bitcoin to something else. Well, what we can do is we can actually type in over here what we want to look at. So let's say that I wanted to look at Ethereum instead. I would all only have to type in the words ETH. I'm going to go to spot trading. And now I can see all the different Ethereum options like Ethereum compared to the US dollar. Well, if I click on that, I now have the Ethereum chart sitting here. If I wanted to find something for Solana, then I could type in Solana, find Solana compared to the US dollar. And now I can have the Solana chart by clicking on that. In fact, I, if I want to find something else, you know, let's just say that I want to look at uh, maybe like Sui, right? I can scroll through this list and find it or type it in. But if I click on Sui, well, now it's going to refresh and I'm looking at the SUI chart and I can actually zoom in and out here and up and down by holding my mouse down on this sidebar and then kind of going up and down with it as I'm holding down. Or I can use the scroll wheel to also zoom in and out or just drag this bottom bar um, back and forth. So I'm going to click and drag either way to zoom in and out or I can use the mouse wheel to also do this as well in either direction just by hovering over the price or the time frame. Now, I'm looking at the one day chart here and you might wanna look at something a little bit smaller than this when you're trading. So you can come up to the price chart section in the top left, you can click on this and then you can adjust anywhere from a one minute chart all the way up to a one day chart. So if I wanna to go to an hourly chart cause I want a little bit more information, I can do that up here as well. In fact. I can even add different kinds of indicators to this chart and there's a whole big list of them. So if I wanted to add a moving average, then I could type in SMA or maybe just even moving average. Now there's going to be a lot of different moving average options here. Um, whether you want a weighted moving average or a moving average exponential, which is called an EMA, um, you can kind of find just about everything that you want. Now I know a lot of people like things like, the relative strength index or the RSI, or maybe even things like the MACD. Well, all you have to do is click on these and it's going to add them straight to your chart as well. And whenever I'm done with them, I can just go ahead and exit it out, or I can even make it small, uh, smaller by collapsing this panel and restoring it. So let's just say I was done with the MACD. I want to delete it. I don't want to see it anymore. I can just click the X and that'll get rid of it. Now I can even go and view the order book over here on the right hand side of the screen. Now you'll notice that this is always flashing and changing. And right now, if we're looking at, and let's actually go back to Bitcoin for this. If we're looking at Bitcoin and this is just flashing and changing and it's a lot, say we want to zoom out a little bit, we can click the plus button. And now each one of these blocks is $5 instead of uh, whatever it was before. And so I'm going to continue to zoom out. Uh, here all the way to 10 and now we can see Bitcoin's order book 
in $10 order blocks. So I can see how much buyers there are, how much sellers there are. I can even come up here around 69,000 and see that there's a lot of sellers sitting at 69,000 on uh, $69,000 on Bitcoin on the Coinbase exchange. I can scroll down here and try to find buyers as well. So we can see where the buyer and seller order blocks are. And this can also give us some crucial information when we're doing our charting. Now, if I wanted to add trend lines, then I can come up to this top button here, click on trend line, and now I can draw all my charts. If I wanted to come over here and add a risk versus reward ratio, I could come down to this option under the projection category and put in a long position and adjust this as I would like to. Or I can even come in and do the opposite and add in a short position up here and fill this in as I would like to. And let's just say that I wanna scribble around a little bit. I wanna make some lines, some arrows, maybe thinking that we can go down and then up. Well, I can do all this as well, but if my chart gets too cluttered, I can come down to this trash can emoji and just click remove, and now everything is gone. Now, you can see that I already have an MA on my screen, which stands for moving average. If I want to adjust this in any way, in fact, if I wanna adjust anything, all I have to do over here is come, double click on it, and now I can change the input from a 200 day moving average down to a 20 day moving average by clicking enter, or I can change it back to a 200 day moving average as well. Now, if I wanna change the style of this, you know, maybe I wanna make the moving average line thicker or thinner, I can do that here as well. I can also change the opacity by showing how clear this thing is by dragging it back and forth. And I can even change the color. If I don't like the color, if I can't see it well, I can do all of that in here as well. So there's a lot of ways that you can mess around and actually chart all inside of Coinbase, and you actually don't need to go to another platform. Now, personally, if you have a TradingView subscription, you are gonna get a few more features over there, but if you don't have one and you don't wanna create an account, then you can get a lot of those same features just built inside of Coinbase because of their integration and partnership that they have over here. So. That's gonna go ahead and wrap us up for this series on how to chart inside of Coinbase. And the cool thing here is that you get a lot of different pieces of, of information and data at your disposal, and you can do a lot of the things that uh, mainstream technical analysis uh, will allow you to do on other platforms as well. So that's gonna wrap us up for this video, everyone. We hope all of you enjoyed it. And all that we ask over here is that if you do like the content that we're making and you want more tutorials just like this one. Well, consider hitting that like button, consider hitting that subscribe button, leave us a comment on what video you want us to make next, and we're gonna continue on with a lot more Coinbase tutorials in the future. So thank you all for watching, and we're gonna see all of you soon.